what's going on YouTubers? It's your boy RK0608. What you saying, mate? Hey, hey, hey. Guys, I've had a massive, and I say massive revamp of my um, six foot tank. Um, today's actual title of my video is look at the aesthetics, which is looking at the beauty of the tank, study it, analyze it, respect it. Um, what it is, guys, um, you know, I'll take a little trip down memory lane. Back in the day, um, I used to have um, stones like this, very similar. And then I got my six foot tank and I moved onto sand. Cleaned out the sand, um, had enough of it due to the amount of dirt and rubbish that my cichlids would more or less leave at the bottom of the tank that I couldn't get to when I used to use my hose cleaner. So I got rid of the sand, true story. Made it a, um, a clear tank, tried to make it a clear tank, which is very nice. When you do your first uh, fresh water change, when you have a clear floor in it, it's fantastic. But when they start to, you know, more or less do it, when they shit, guys, you see it all over your tank. It looks dirty. It almost becomes dirty within two, three days. So I thought to myself, do you know what? Let me focus on the aesthetics of the tank. I'm going back down to memory lane. The last time I had stones like this, guys, I had a big ass Oscar called Hades, bad boy. I had loads, loads of Oscars. It was a nice tank, very compact, but you know, it sort of kind of brought me back to the essences. And I thought to myself, why, why did I, why did I not have stones? Why, why did I get rid of them in the first place? I'm going to quickly show you my room. As you know, obviously, we've moved in there since all April, um, and this is the kind of straps that we've got going on on the future wall. Um, obviously I've got a black sofa, I've got two black sofas, I'm going to show you the other side. Um, mirror, white mirror, which is opposite towards the window, which I'm going to show you there. All right, Whoop. sorry about the speed. And then obviously on the walls, as you can see, is grey. So going on to my fish tank, I thought to myself, what's going to aesthetically go with this room? How is it going to actually work with the theme of what's going on in this room? So I thought I'd go for black and white stones, guys. And it is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Gave my fresh water change from yesterday. Put the stones in, gave it a bit of a wash, and there you go. Boom, Bob's your uncle. They're loving it, they're thriving. Um, a quick update on fishes, guys. I lost my green terror, which was one of my um, original green terrors, which, you know, again, beautiful fish, guys. If you haven't got a green terror, you need to get one. They're fantastic. So what I've done yesterday, I promoted another one of my flower horns, um, just at the back there. He's had a few little uh, scuffles with a big one here. But um, I want to sort of promote him in this tank, guys, because I feel that the growth rate is a lot more, it's a lot bigger. Um, I'll give you an example. If I give you one of my videos that I have put back, I think it was the last couple of days ago, um, and you look at uh, my Red Texas, then you look at this one. This one was one of the Red Texas from upstairs. Um, and the size of it is ridiculous. It's almost the same size as the Kraken. Um, and that's the growth rate of what happens when you put them in a bigger tank. So, yeah, that's that's my method to my madness. That's the reason why I put them in this tank. And, um, guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'm not too sure whether to get plants because I just think they're a waste of money. Um, and a lot of them kind of, like, dig up the soil and so on. But let me know what you think. Um, and, obviously, um, yeah, obviously your, your comments mean a lot. So, guys, like I always say, holla at your boy. Dips it. Hey, boom.